In this video, we're going to focus on the array on shift method in Chart.js. And this is a part of the Chart.js array series. We're covering everything about arrays in combination with Chart.js. All right. So what can we do with the array on shift method? Basically, this method helps you to add a value at the very beginning of an array. So right now we have these options here, but let's look and explore how can we add a value at the very beginning? Well, with the unshift, it's easy to do. The only thing that we have to do is basically to, to select the label where we want to put it in at the very beginning. So for example, here at labels, at this array, we're going to put in a unshift, and then we also indicate what exactly we would like to add in here. So if this would be a color, we can say, for example, gold. And this is a string value, so make sure it's in quotation. And if we save this now, refresh, we can. Oh, we we uh, did we do anything? Oh, yes, of course we did. So as you can see here, I refresh and it started already adjusted very quickly. However, you might not notice it immediately. Why? Because the labels only have been adjusted. So gold will come at the very beginning, and it pushes everything else one position to the right as you can see here of course the color doesn't match here so what we can do here is maybe give a matching color as well so we can say instead of labels we can say here uh, the background color and of course we should have the data shift array unshift so it's unshift and here for example we value number 10 and here background color would be gold that could be fine and here as well if i save this now and the border color as well gold so it will be nice gold and yellow refresh there you are so automatically it starts to add up here and if we then pop and push you can see here we're adding up values as well so what we could do of course what's quite fun here is basically very similar to what we did in previously we can create here a new item which is shift or unshift and the unshift value will basically unshift specific value here so we have to make sure that this is all set an unshift and of course we have to indicate here and we could indicate here border color gold and then here as well background color gold and then we have the unshift value this is 10 and here we could give the label gold with capital G all right so once we have the unshift here of course we can remove all this and then we make a new button doing exactly the same on click and then we say here unshift and then we say here unshift save that refresh now we have the unshift there we are it keeps on adding and then we have here pop and you could basically play with them by adding both of them together so you have a rotation as well so basically here let me just make sure is plus add start and this here will be plus at end, meaning we added at the very end, and finally the pop would be minus at end. So of course you see we're missing one. The next video will cover the next one. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in chart yes, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.